So I did something risky. I bought a binder full of cards off of a couple pages. Uh, now, I paid $100 for this binder, and I thought it'd be cool to just record going through each page just to see what I got. Uh, and, and, you know, if it was a good deal, uh, you know, let's see how we do. Uh, so anyway, kid just wants to get rid of his cards, okay? Um, he had a flat price. There was just no, like, it didn't matter. He said 100 cards, doesn't care, doesn't want any more. They're just collecting dust. He's moving on to other things. Needs 100 bucks. So done. So let's just jump into it and see. Now, this is really why right here. Evolutions. I saw Evolutions, and I thought, that's what I need. Because I need a lot of cards from Evolutions. I'm also collecting everything. Uh, I'm putting together a binder of all Mewtwo's and all Venusaur. All right, so a lot of duplicates. Sorry about the glare there. Uh, I don't know how much any of these are worth. I don't even know what set the uh, the, the Ponytaws from. Uh, not a hollow there, but I do like that Mewtwo hollow, so I do need that. A lot of, uh, Pikachu Libre? <laughs> I've never even seen that one. That one's kind of funny. Even Raichu's like, what is going on over there? I do need everything. Everything from Evolutions as a reverse. The, now, the page I got it for, I think is cool. There's, there's a, uh. Uh, a Venusaur in here that I really like that I needed to me worth hundred bucks. Uh, not to anyone else if you have any. <laughs> Look at that! How crazy would that be to have just Charmander, Charmeleon, Charizard? I don't know if there's any order to this binder because I think the good cards are back. Usually the, the the good cards are up front, like this is the best, and you kind of like fade it out. I do need that Zapdos. One of the first hollows I got was a uh, a hollow Zapdos from 1999. All right, so we got some tag team. Oh, that is a Charizard card. I didn't even notice that. I didn't even notice there was a Charizard there. So we got a. There's our first Charizard though. Charizard and Bra Braxen. I don't know. Is that another one? Yo, Reshiram and Charizard. We got two two Zardy boards on this page. Now, I thought I had the uh, all of it. it. Took me a while, but uh, I just got this Venusaur card because I was actually looking for all three. I didn't even realize there was there was more. Now I need the rest of them. I need a Blastoise. Looks like I need the the Blastoise and Venusaur. This one and this one. A little Rayquaza action. Why does that look weird? I'm sorry, does, that, does this look weird? Well, I guess it feels like a normal card. For some reason, that looked like super, super round right there. I guess not. Wouldn't call that a 10. Greninja. What else we got? ton of Pikachus. Oh, we got Surfing and Flying Pikachu. Okay, so I remember these from Celebrations. Trying to think any. Uh, so we got Entei over here. Toxapex. Quite a few. E there it is. The reason I have this binder now. Venusaur. And Charizard. How did I, I was so lost on Venusaur that I completely missed Mewtwo. Uh, and, and these are my two favorite guys right here. Instantly made this worth it. I don't, I don't care about prices just yet. Hopefully, I wouldn't sell this anyway. Wait, why does that? I've never even seen this hollow before. This does not. That does not feel like a Pokemon card. Guys, help me out. Is that... I wish you guys could feel. This is almost... That's not a normal... It's either the coolest haul of the... I haven't opened up EX stuff, so I don't know. But that is ultra gloss. <sighs> Let me know in the comments down below. C cool looking card, I guess. 
No whitening around the edges. I bet I could slap this thing in and out of sleeves all day. Never get any whitening. It is a tough card. Okay, so this feels normal. Centering's a little bit off. So we're not getting a, a 10 out of here. I don't want to lose these cards. These are going somewhere else. These are going into a another uh how are we looking on this one? That one looks good. And the back looks good. All right. That's going in another one of those uh the three card cases. That I'm a little bit nervous about. Okay, everything's looking good here. Uh, a little break, another GX. Oh, a Shining Gyarados. Oh, man. <laughs> what is this? PSA 10, uh, like, but with a decimal, like 1.0. Oh, my. That's not real. No. How is this my first fake Pokemon card? Or the other one I just held. I've never actually even held a fake Pokemon card. So it's not actually a holo. Okay, in theory, I should be able to rip this. And there's... I know that's not right. Usually there's like white. You're supposed to see some ink in there. That is regular cardboard. Oh, no. Oh, this is for sure fake. I can tell, by the way, this... No holo. The, the printer messed up right there. Yeah, more cardboard. Well, it's it's all cardboard. But special cardboard when Pokemon prints it off. Is this even a real break? For sure not. No. This feels normal. Wouldn't be a PSA anything with these. What, a cat trident on, on it? I'll put that back in there. Do, so, oh my gosh. So I got a mixture of fake and real ones. I don't even care if the Venusaur and, Bulb, or Venusaur and Mewtwo are fake. But now I'm nervous. No. Here's another one that looks weird. Uh oh yeah, there's no it's either reverse hollow or not. This is hollow all the way through. I gotta say, who do you know that does fake cards like this? Uh not that I want to print uh off off Pokemon cards, but you can make some pretty cool stuff if you had the uh just the machines to do it. Just think of the cool stuff you could print on, on a hollow like that. Let me do with this junk. Oh, my gosh. I'm about to rip this thing clean in half. Okay, so we got the texture on there. This isn't fake. There, there's no way this is. No way. That is the most impressive fake. I wouldn't even care if it was. Uh, I will say he said a lot of these came from boxes that came with the jumbo cards. I was like, all right, I'll take your word for it. Last time I take anyone's word for it. Look at that EV. What's it running from? Just a bunch of rock things are chasing after it. Another flying Pikachu. Like my money. Right out the door. <laughs> I like that. I'm a champ, though. Okay, so I'm picking it up. The fake ones are pretty much just hollow all the way through. And uh, the the real ones have you either reverse or the regular hollow. I don't know why my mic's yelling at me, but you might have to turn the volume up just now because I did just uh, adjust it. It's screaming at me, so it might just sound like crap. All right, we got another fake one right here for sure. Tell me if I'm right or wrong. Am I just destroying cards? Hollow all the way through. Is this an era I just don't know about? Uh, no, absolutely not. Hang on. No wax. Nothing on that. Oh, gosh. Please don't be an expensive card. Okay. Thank gosh. Woo. Who made these? These aren't bad. I would be genuinely pissed 
if I uh, if I spent any real money on a specific card and that's what I got. Can you imagine that? I'm sure it happens all the time. Cobal on this. You could spot this from a mile away. Maybe. Eh, no, whoever did this. Who even prints this? Maybe this is a real one. Not in good condition. Centering's way off. I mean, if you're going to make a fake, what is that, to make it believable? <laughs> we'll just throw the centering off. Drift limb. Nope, this is for sure not real. Look at that yellow. Oh, my gosh. More cardboard. <laughs> no. Okay. Let's just start going through it. Let's get some good ones. At least the fake ones are they are not hard to spot. Is that a real Blastoise? What even is that? Missing half his arm? Okay. So here's a cool page. Please don't be fake. So we got Alakazam, a Triclops Gengar, another Venusaur tag team. Don't be fake. Don't be fake. Don't be fake. It would be as worth as much as a fake one because that centering is so far off. <laughs> What even is this? I could tear this in half right now and tell you it's... Is that fake? Okay. Oh, man. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, so is that real? Did I just shred a real one? Everyone says you're supposed to see blue ink in there. Right? Oh, gosh, maybe I'm not a pro at this. Uh, okay, chat, let me know. <laughs> I'm not worried about a, about a Flaffy, but it is white. I don't know. Questionable. Now, this thing, texture and all, this is a real card. Almost a, do we have an alignment dot? Look how far off that is. Whoever was uh, working that day at the factory uh, maybe was exploring something that might not have been legal yet. You know, maybe a little more legal these days. Or just straight hallucinogens. Another Venus, another Venusaur. Uh, at this point, we're gonna call it celery. Until it proves its point, celery. Let's get some of these cool ones out. Please be real. Please be real. Even I've never seen a Triclops Gengar. Okay, that feels like a normal V card. Everything about this feels real, but I've never seen the Triclops version. Is that? Is that a thing? Magnemite evolution. So you can just go back in there. Okay. Here's my guy. Alakazam. All right. Now this, it'd be a very, I'd be very impressed if somebody was making fakes with the right texture and everything. I have seen this one before. Ugh, so not, we're not getting any tens uh, or nines, but definitely a cool binder piece. Another Magnemite. Okay, Genesect. I'm pretty sure we just opened that one. Uh, the Generations box. Mars Shadow and Mars Champ. Okay, this Zygarde's not real. There's no way. That, is it? That's not the right hollow, is it? Oh, my gosh. Pitch Black. This thing's waterproof. I could throw this in the washer right now. Wouldn't damage it at all. Uh, not bad for a cool card. Uh, honestly, if I could make cards like this and my kids were into it, I'd make the whole deck out of this. Go put it in your pocket. Take it to school. Unless that is a real card. It feels indestructible. You get a good glare on that so you guys can see. That is a dark blue, too. Uh, does not feel... It feels too dark to be real. But, man, that's... You could put in your pocket and take to school and not worry at all about. Okay, you can't fake these reversals. Okay, so as long as those cards are real and I got the some evolutions cards, I don't feel completely screwed. <laughs> oh, there we go. Another another Charizard. That looks like a Detective Pikachu Charizard. 
Every time I do see one of these old cards, I'm like, please let me be that guy from the uh, the ones that buy like the you know the old storage units and just find something ridiculous. Like, let me just see like a first edition on one of these. <coughs> Pokemon Ranger and Poke Maniac might be me after buying this. That's a weird. Is that where they get the furries from? That could bite was pretty cool. Okay, so no hollow Mewtwo yet. Yeah, Psyduck about to lose his mind. So a pretty fair mix of what looks like real and fake, or really impressive and worthless fake cards all at the same time. Wait, didn't we shred this one? I thought we did. Was that the one we peeled? No. I thought we shredded that exact one, but I guess not. Um, we're about halfway through. Oh, is that a uh, Detective Pikachu Charmander? So we got quite a few Charmanders and Charizards. So at least eh, we got some cool ones I've never seen before. Definitely never had on, on the channel. <laughs> you know, quite a few different ways. Please let all these be real because I need most of those. Volbix is cool. Let me just find one of these that's not a reverse that doesn't have that symbol. And we're good. We're peachy. Okay, so we got some rainbows. I guess from the ones I've seen, these would be hard. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. That's for sure fake. That's not real at all. Doesn't feel real at all. Oh, no. The rainbows are actually cool because the rainbows and golds I actually do collect. Um, but first of all, chewed all the crap. No. Oh, man. 100% now I'm feeling it. Again, just 100 bucks Could have been a lot worse. No Jake Paul in this situation or Logan, which everyone bought the, the G.I. Joe cards. Although at least the G.I. Joe cards probably would have been a funnier video. Did they just not have texture back then? Are they just completely smooth? Does that look real to you guys? Who's seen this one before in real life? Uh, let me know if you have, and then uh, let me know what, we're, uh, what I just got myself into. How much is the binder worth? The physical binder. <laughs> I don't think people like the rings. Uh, no. So we got some promos. No one's printing off fake promos, are they? Oh, my gosh. I guess they are printing off fake. This does not feel real. Now nothing feels real. How do I know? I just want to see if it even, look how dark that is. Guys, help me out. Is that? No. Okay, so this would have been a, look. Oh, my gosh. Volcanian EX, absolutely not hollow at all. Straight cardboard. All right, so this one looks cool. Yep. So here's a GX, texture and all. That looks real, much more vibrant. I guess I'll put that one to the side because it's real. Is this EV real? Please let this EV be real. It looks cool. It looks very unique. Oh, it's a promo. Okay, texture and all. Uh, like a Majin Buu EV. Kind of an interesting one. Not a bad condition on that one. Okay. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Okay, so where is it at? Let's just go. Let's let's just compare GX to GX. Rainbow. Rainbow to rainbow. Zero texture on this one. And you can see the texture inside this one. 
They even messed up with the printer right here. The ink is messed up. Oh, I can tell you right now. <laughs> no. That would have been a cool one. Would have been a cool card to ha to actually have in the real collection. Dang. That means this one. Just as fake. No. I am going to ask. I, so I know who it is. Partly why I wasn't too worried. Uh, I know this wasn't intentional, but I'm going to ask where he got him now. Uh, so it looks like there will be a follow-up to this. No. You know what? I'm going to keep this one. My kid, middle child, is obsessed with rainbow ones. And she also threw a whole bunch of cards because uh, she was making it rain in a TikTok. Grabbed a whole bunch of luckily common cards. It was like making it rain and threw them. <laughs> Perfect. I'm not tearing any more of these because they're they're going to her. She can make it rain as many TikToks as she wants. Oh, no, all of those are fake. That's a cool one though. This one is pretty cool. Super dark. My kids will never know the difference. I'm a little bit. You know what? That's a million times better now. Kids that that like it but maybe don't really appreciate what things can be not every kid's an investor or anything like that but you know 100 percent fake it doesn't matter you know like let, let them just garbage this thing up man i i need to know who's making these fakes um okay so i won't out you i promise but if you can make fakes like this let me know. Shoot me a direct message, or just let me know in the comments down below if it's like a, a public thing. Maybe people just make them just because, like, like what I want. Give them to the kids. Um, but you can make some cool displays. And I've thought about making, like, epoxy tables and everything. Uh, and I don't know if that makes it less cool because the cards in there are fake. But if they look like that and they're hollow and I can pour epoxy over it, I think that would be cool. <clears throat> this Nine Tails looks like it would be a cool card. <laughs> You know what I would do with this? Print the whole set like this, put it in the binder, and then you just know what card goes there. What card are you missing? 100% fake on that one. Just I'm going to keep it. You guys know this is fake. Uh, I can't maybe portray it through the video. Nothing. This should be a hollow. This is a hollow full art. Nothing. Uh, another one going to the kids. Please be real. No. Oh, my gosh. No. <laughs> I looked at this so quick, and I was like, yeah, easy. Ah, I mean, is this one real? Now I'm hesitant. This one. Okay, guys, if I've asked you, let me know in the comments down below. Just say their name and, and timestamp if you could. I don't know if that's too much. Let me know because this one, I could see this one being real, but I don't know was there a texture involved in, in that or not. I definitely need to look some more of these up. That one's 100% fake. A million miles away. <laughs> no. 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 Scammed. I don't trust any, any of those. Okay, Umbreon. It's been an Umbreon kind of day. No. Actually, hang on. GX... It does kind of have the ha same hollow pattern as as these. Maybe that one. Maybe it's real. We're going on 20 minutes of you guys watching me open up nothing. Um, I do want to speed it up for you guys. How did I get that out? There we go. Okay, let's look at this. No. No. The whiting around the edges actually makes me think it's a real card. And, oh, the hollows at different spots. Maybe that is real. Okay, you know what? This one actually might be real because the, the eyes have a hollow, the, the head doesn't, or a very impressive fake. I have been bamboozled. <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, so there's another Triclops Gengar. No. No. <laughs> this I can feel is that plastic stuff. Cool card. But I would rip that off. <sighs> texture, 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 texture. No texture. Texture, texture. Okay, if it's got texture, I'm keeping it. No. Okay, guys, let me know. The Triclops Gengar is kind of cool. But now I don't... Now I don't trust either one. Oh, actually, one of these might be real. So this one might be real. This one, definitely not. And if you look at the back, there's your normal wax coating, normal whitening because you couldn't take care of the card, versus this plastic, indestructible, much darker. Let me know in the comments down below which Cyclops Gengar is real. Left is real, right is not, or both garbage. Okay, Gardevoir. There we go. Texture. Real. That was not bad. Don't do this to me. You don't deserve it. Real. Right now, I trust that there's whiting around the edges. I would, I'd rather, I trust a PSA five whiting around the edges than I do anything else. Yvetel, hundred percent fake. Not even need to pull that out. Oh my gosh, there's gonna be pages we have to go through. Um, no, I thought five hundred cards. Most of them probably worth a penny, maybe 10 cents. Look at this thing. Yeah, that's just flat out. Well, they cut this with a hole punch? Look how round that is. Brown cardboard. Yep. Oh, my gosh. That's a cool Gyarados. Please be real. Please just be a real card. Please be. Okay, so hollow, not hollow. Okay, it's definitely a real card here. Uh, all right, so Machamp. Machamp looks real. Come on. They couldn't even give me like a fake, just hollow Mewtwo just for me? Roller skater. Please. That looks like it has some texture to it. Okay, real. Texture, rocking and rolling. Uh, Mr. Mime. Oh, my gosh. If that was fake, 100% going to Rev. Not only is it a mime, it's a fake mime. Look at this card. 100% fake. What is it? Who prints this off as a fake card? Who's out here just killing it? What are you ripping kids off on the playground? Yo, 50 cents. I got that good, good. What you got? Anorith. 80 horsepower. And he probably calls that horsepower. Brown cardboard. <laughs> no. I'm not that I care about that card. But, like, why aren't you faking the good stuff? If I'm going to waste the ink, it's going to be something good. You know? I'm not getting a slap on the wrist. Basically, what I'm telling you is I'm going to jail for life. <laughs> if I'm going to open up the print factory. Oh, my gosh. All right, folks. Let me know down below because I have not looked at the price of anything. How, how did we do? I'm going to assume, unless there was some outlier that I just didn't catch, I'm going to assume these are the only cards we have that are real that might be worth anything. Roller Skate, Gyarados, Mewtwo, please be real. Gardevoir's Texture, Gengar, Questionable, Golem, Eevee, Guzzlord, Alakazam, please be real, and please be real. <laughs> <laughs> Please be real. These all have texture. So how did we do uh, on those? Did I at least... Is this worth $100 at all? Like, I know they're not because of the condition. Let's just go through the... Uh, absolutely destroyed. Okay, so Alakazam's worth nothing. Uh, I'll sleeve these just in case. I'm going to wrap it up here, guys. 
Le- Gosh, let me know. These look cool, at least. They're cool, like little shiny things for your binder. These, I got to say, are questionable. Uh, maybe someone with better knowledge. That back just looks like a normal Pokemon card to me. Normal whitening, normal blue, normal wax coat. Uh, and then again, we have the absolutely, obviously <laughs> fake cards. But nonetheless, they're going to be cool to get my kids. I wish I didn't shred the other rainbow because my kids would, would like that. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this depressing story up. So it's, it's kind of cool because it's my first time getting fake cards. I'm going to go fight the kid. Uh, it's going to be a beat down. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, but I guess nonetheless, as, as we close this up, let that be that, that lesson is maybe we just don't buy stuff blind, you know, unless you are Poker Rev. You got like 2 million subscribers making a million dollars a month, you know. Uh, maybe double check some things. Maybe pull it out. Maybe look at it. I'm probably the only one that doesn't. Anyway, I'm going to wrap it up here. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.